Hey, spaceman! I'm a droid. A pizza uh, droid. What do you mean, droid? And Maple Cook said he'd return to make me a super Chicago deep dish pizza. And the worst thing is that I might barf before he comes back out, you psychopath. You're not a droid! Yo, Chicago deep dish pizza. Ooh. We gotta make this. You really think that you could do better? Dude, I am gonna knock this out of the Park. Welcome to Chicago, folks. America's home of deep dish pizza. Now, I might be Canadian, but I've got family in Chicago. And on top of that, for years now, I've been friends with native Chicagoan and fellow YouTuber Lisa from Lisa's Always Cooking. And I sent her all over the city looking for Chicago's very best deep dish pizza. Hey, Maple Cook. If you're going to make the Super Chicago Pizza, there's four pizza houses that you need to look at. You need to look at Blue Malnati's, Gino's East, Giordano's, and Pequod's Pizza. An amateur like me, I'm gonna need a secret weapon, right? Bro, you're still an amateur? <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, voila! What the hell? Yeah, right? Pizza is Italian. Right. But as it made its way across the states, especially in Chicago, it evolved into its own American thing. What? It uses American flour, uses American butter. Right, uses okay, all that kind okay. Of thing, right? It uses pepperoni. Yeah. You know, pepperoni is not Italian, right? What? Yeah. No. If you say pepperoni in Italy, you're talking about red peppers. Like, bell shut peppers. up. Yeah. There's no such sausage known as pepperoni in Italy. Yo, that's, that's fed up. Well, it's American. Like, I'm not just gonna beat Chicago, I'm also gonna re Italianize this dish. Yeah. Because it would be cool. Hell yeah. I've got the ingredients, and the first thing we've got is uh, genuine from Italy double zero pizza flour. This is genuine from Italy Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, buddy. Yeah, this is the good stuff. Dude, this that is good. And yeah, and I went in and I said to Alessandro, I want the absolute top of the top. I don't just want the normal Parmigiano Reggiano. This one is like the double aged. What? Stuff. This is extremely special. Come on in and look at this. This is Salame Piacentino. What the heck? Yeah, this type of salami used to be served to royalty in Europe. What? Yeah. Yeah. Here's your curveball for today. <clears throat> curve Look ball. at that. It's venison, it's venison and bacon. That's Interesting right. choice, my man. Why not? Why not? Let's get Let's it. Let's get it. I'm going to make a tomato element to this pizza that is like way deeper, way more hardcore than any restaurant would be willing to make. The San Marzano tomatoes. Cool. Wait, what does that mean? They're like... The strain, apparently, is from Italy. Oh, that makes okay. sense. Dude, I forgot to tell you about this. What is that? This is a that's very special ingredient. That's a garlic. Yeah, it's not just any garlic. This was hand-grown, custom for me. What? Yeah, by Jason and Colleen at Clive's Conundrum Garden. And what? They just live a few hours that way. Really? Yeah, they're really local to me. Did they and bring that to you? Out of the blue, they said, hey, we grew some garlic. What? So this showed up in my inbox. Yeah, those are real. They are. Thank That's you guys. Custom grown organic garlic. Okay, that's that oh, good stuff. The good stuff. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, right on. Boom. Fleur de sel. Yeah, because we balling that's out here. Right. Again, you don't need to use fleur de sel. You can use regular salt, but I'd be extra that way. you would be extra. Fresh thyme. Thyme. It smells amazing. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's like a fresh garden in Italy in the summer. Fresh rosemary. Yeah. Yo, that rosemary smells kills, actually. Fresh cracked pepper. Yeah. Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. Extra. Yeah. Cotton like de Leone, the good stuff. Douse it. Douse it. Douse it. Not the achievable. Why should no. I? Mm. It smells amazing. Oh, yeah. Just you wait till we get the heat on it. Yeah. All those flavors are going to come together like a symphony. There you go. And we're oh just going to roast those slowly for four hours at 250 degrees. Sounds good, homie. You know that chickens will, like, they hate rosemary? What? If you're raising chickens, they will, and you have rosemary in the garden, they'll avoid it. Really? Yeah. It's like they can tell the future. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know they taste good with it. Biologically adapted to run away from the spice. That's right. Like, girls are biologically adapted to run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Full fat mozzarella block. Full fat? Nobody eats a deep dish pizza because they want to be healthy. <laughs> like, yeah, why'd you get the block? Why didn't you just get it grated? The pre-grated stuff has like anti-caking agents oh, and stuff. Oh, right, 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 right. It will right. taste right. It has will melt right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Grate it, grate it. Yeah, look at that. 
Oh, buddy, I love it. All natural pepperoni, guys. Dude, I love it. it does look There's different. no chemical names on the back of the no ingredients. No way. It's all just like smoked and salt. I wanted to put some pepperoni in it because the classic Chicago sausage. <laughs> <laughs> you know the difference between New York pizza and Chicago pizza? What's that? In New York, they use sausage. And in Chicago, they use sausage. What's the difference? One is sausage and the other one's sausage. No, yeah. shut <laughs> up, dude. No, man. I love this is the angle. <laughs> <laughs> the angle makes it feel better. If you haven't been to Rensulo and you're in the Vancouver area, go to that place. They are amazing. Franco, I love you. All right. <laughs> Alessandro, too. Mm, mm, I love you. <laughs> I know. Jesus, I love you, too. They don't let me into church anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like the door heats up as soon as I start to come close to the oh church. Oh my god. <laughs> you're here. But What's this? I feel like it's not, you know, overdone. I think it cooks perfectly and it tastes buttery. Buttery. The crust here yeah. is called butter crust. It's actually like trademark. Lou Malnati's Pizza House is probably the most famous pizza house in Chicago. And they make a claim to having buttery crust. Okay. So if they can do it, I can do it. Um, <laughs> it's giving me cornbread vibes, but not like overly sweet corn yeah. cornmeal. Is there is there corn in this? Yeah, there's what? that. That is Gino's yeast, and right? they are known for having corn in their crust. And I guess that makes it good. We're gonna find out. Damn, dude. 440 grams of Italian double zero flour. 60 grams of corn flour. 10 grams of salt. And we're using that expensive field to It say. looks like it. you can just see yeah. the f***ing grains on that. For, for no good reason at all. For no good reason. <laughs> 12 grams of sugar and grams of yeast. And I'm just going to whisk that all together. 110 grams of room temperature butter. So now we got our butter in there. Do you know the carbs are made of latex? Uh, some are, I yeah. think. But so is house paint. So I've just got a bucket of sears next to my bed. Oh <laughs> my god, dude. All right, I've started mixing it. I'm going to mix it for about seven or eight minutes. 275 <coughs> grams of warm water. Okay, that's been eight minutes. We're just going to let it rest for 60 minutes and then check it again. Sick. And if it needs more time, we'll give it up to like 90 minutes. Cool. It's been 90 minutes and, and look at our go. dough. Look Yo, at how it's, it's looking puffy, up. yeah. So yeah, folks. What do we got going on now? You're just gonna well, slap we're gonna it in. See. Oh, come on, baby! Oh, bop, yeah! Bop, 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 bop. Oh yeah! Boy, we're gonna slice it in half because this is actually enough dough to make two pieces. We're gonna round this one up. Thanks. You watch me fling my dough. Oh, you know what? Why does that sound sexual? <laughs> it's always sexual on the show. You know what would be really cool is if you, it's always, you just said it like it's the most natural thing in the world. Why do you use a cast iron pan for this? Because it holds the heat better for our purposes today. Okay, it cool. Does. You could use like a cake tin, and some guys do, but it, because of the the characteristics of the metal, you're not going to get the same crunch. Right, on the dude. They're, they're, they're not extra like us. They aren't. If you want to be extra, you got to go cast iron. If you want to be a basic, just go watch oh, it goes around. No, no. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna go there. <laughs> Sicilian olive oil. Oh yeah. This might seem like a lot of skin oil, but the idea with the Chicago pizza is it's gonna be practically a fried bread. Fried practically bread. Practically. That's a lot, a lot of oil. oil. We don't cheap out on we this We don't show, play, right? dog. We don't play. We don't play. Oh, we man. Play. We're gonna try to roll this up into the pan nicely. Wish me luck, folks. This looks like a fail. It is not a fail. Okay? What do you mean? It's all lopsided. Yeah. Watch. We are welcoming here on Maple Cook Show, unless That's your name right. is Gordon Ramsay. That's it. No, no, no. Gordon can come and cook in my kitchen all the any day he wants. I'll just let him sharpen the knives. Oh. <laughs> he hates me so hard yeah, now. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> <laughs> You're a donkey. Look at that crust. Dude, that, that crust. looks really good, yeah. man. Oops. The best deep yeah. dish in Chicago. She just said that burnt cheese crust is the reason that Pequots have been nominated so many times. For the <laughs> Pequot? Pequots, you know, like the Pequots, like the dude who shoots wads is at his peak. This is their claim to fame. Okay. So if they're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Because Pequot. we want that Pequots crust. Yeah. Provolone. Bro, what are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing what they do in Chicago. No way. Yes way. Dude, this is gonna be amazing 
Anything Chicago can do, we can do better. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm being a because I have family in Chicago, so oh. I know they're watching this and they're gonna get mad at they're me. Just but I'm, I'm just I'm fing with my relatives, that's all. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, there's no hate, uh, there's no gen. There's no real hate here. No genuine hate on I'm this. I'm just fing around with some of my relatives are just gonna be like, no, you can't say that. They can't respond either because they don't have a YouTube channel. That's right. Gordon Ramsay does. <laughs> Full fat shredded mozzarella. When they do this at uh, at Jordan's, they put like two pounds of cheese in it. If I ever do a Jar like a pure Giordano clone, you'll see me do that. But for today, this is about enough. Venison and bacon sausage. Yeah. It's the most sausage I've ever seen in one place at one time. That's <laughs> because you kept your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Italian sausage. Yeah. So we got a nice layer of sausage. Yeah. All natural pepperoni. Like it doesn't get better than this. Oh. There's no, I don't care, like, I don't care what they're doing in Chicago. There's no way they're beating this. That's crazy. Are you kidding me? Venison and bacon? That's crazy. Right? With all natural pepperoni. Salame Piacentino. This is that royalty salami. It smells amazing. This stuff is so precious. Don't bake it with the pizza, he said. Oh, he said, bake the pizza first and then leave it on no. top after you pull it out and then it'll melt and it'll become perfect. But you know what? I want it inside and I'm going to put it on top too. No way. Yeah, I want it inside the pizza because I rule that way. Dude, this is a crazy pizza. I'm breaking the rules. Again. Oh my god. Even the fat, even the fat's like full of flavor, right? Dude. This is insane, dude. There you go. Onions. Green peppers. Hell yeah. That's a classic color combination. Yeah. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, right? It's pepper Bay. Freshly sliced mushrooms. Okay, what kind of mushrooms is that? These are just regular button mushrooms because that's what button they use. Button mushrooms? They're white mushrooms, the regular supermarket white mushrooms. Cool. But these were like the expensive ones. Yeah. I can't remember exactly, but I remember them being expensive. Wait, what? Yo, yeah. Is that See? a second awesome. layer of crust on the top? Yeah, the pizza house known as Giordano's. They do what's called a stuffed pizza. That's a so, pizza pie right that's there. That's right, they actually make it like a pie. They put a, a bottom crust and a top crust on it. Remember that bit I cut off around the rim? Okay, yeah. That's gonna become our top crust. Okay. Okay. Just like uh, Gino, Ooh, just like yeah. Giordano's does, right? Got it covered with our second crust. Oh yeah. So that's just like Giordano's. And then we got our Pequod's crust around the edge. And because I don't want the thing to explode, we're gonna split the top a little bit. Scarpatura. <laughs> what? Remember when I cut the, the cross into the panettone? Yeah. That's called scarpatura. Scarring it. That's what, well, you can think of it that way. <laughs> and the oven is now 425. So, yeah. You know, we're not just going to straight up bake this. There's a procedure to this that nobody else does. What? You're going to bake it for 30 minutes first, and then you're going to find out what I'm going to do. Okay, it's okay, 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 okay. Keep watching. All right, come on out, baby. Go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. We're halfway done. Ooh. We're halfway done. We're not quite there yet. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna dress it with my four hour Italian roasted tomatoes. What? No That's way. That's right. Really? Instead of sauce. Dude. Every guest I've ever had who ate these has been like eyes wide open. Holy yeah. You have to give me the recipe. Yeah. This is amazing. So yeah, I figured it would be <laughs> okay. more than an adequate replacement for the pizza sauce that usually goes on a pizza. Bro. And you know what? My uh, my friend from Italy, Maurizio, <laughs> he, ate, he eats them and he's like, this reminds me of my childhood in Italy. No way. Yeah, he totally said that. Really? So he's watching this video. Maurizio, back me up. Leave a comment. Double-aged Parmigiano Reggiano. Now he's cracking out the Parmigiano. From Italy, folks. Oh, buddy. We're gonna cover this in a Don't. thick layer. You know, be careful, man. You can't be dropping any of that shit. It's expensive. I know, but nothing but the best for my family. Oh day. my god, dude. Just when you think this pizza can't get any better. Some people try to get away with using like Grana Padano, which is like cheap. Don't use Grana Padano, guys. Use the real Parmigiano, okay? It's a real deal here. Yeah, it's fresh cracked pepper. Fresh cracked pepper. You can't get better than fresh cracked pepper. Yeah, buddy, dude. Oh, oh buddy. Go. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. pulling it out. Pulling it out. Look at Whoa. that. Woo! It buddy. smells amazing. Look at that. 
God, eh? You can't buy this in Chicago. No, man. This is all the strongest parts of all the pizza pizzerias put together. How did you do this the other day? Oh, buddy. There you go. Oh, got, got it. it. Got it. Whoa. There we go. Oh, oh, out. Look at it. Oh, it's crispy. That's the way we want it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, that smell. Holy sh. That, that is that crazy. That smells so good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's still sizzling in there. Here you go, my friend. Eat and enjoy. Dude, thank you, my man. Dude, it's my pleasure. This is a heifer right here. <laughs> Look at him go. Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, yes! <Boy. laughs> I did it! Isn't that the best deep dish you ever had? Tell me the truth. It's the best thing you've ever made, bro. Huh? Really? Wow! Wow! Even better than lasagna! Wow! Do you hear that, folks? <laughs> <laughs> yes! That makes me happy, man. That's the happiest thing you could have said. Dude, <laughs> this is so damn good. <laughs> yes, yes. I had, I had high expectations, but they're met, man. Holy <laughs> shit, bro. Oh, I love it. Dude, I love I'm it. Gonna, I'm just going to spend a little time with her. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> totally. So can you imagine Chicago beating me? Kenya, Kenya. It'd be one hell of a fight, man. One <laughs> hell of a fight. They would be so damn good to beat this, right? Like, holy shit. I'm gonna go, oh yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like on the inside, folks. It's nothing but all the best ingredients. So good, man. Like the uh, the tomatoes on top, I you wouldn't know, but they make a massive difference, dude. <laughs> See, those tomatoes are different, right? Oh, and then like like the topping, I don't know why, the topping was just the cherry, literally like the cherry on top, man. It was like, that cheese, it feels very like flaky and crispy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a bite of that, uh, that burnt cheese crust. That's the Pequod's crust, right? What do you think? Whoa. <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at that cheese, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like stuffed crust, but you got you do it better than what's their name. Yeah, Pequod's. <laughs> like if you had wads and they were at their peak. <laughs> oh, Magnifico. Magnifico. Yay! Okay. There's still a ton of content for you to enjoy, so click here for it.